Multiple studies have shown that as a woman's obesity increases, her chances for conceiving through IVF go down. However, very little is known about the relationship between obesity of the mother and IUI or intrauterine insemination. That is until now. A new study presented at the American Society for Reproductive Medicine Annual Meeting Orlando took a look at this. And here with me is Dr. Latasha Craig to tell us more. So Dr. Craig, can you tell me um, your basic finding when you looked at IUI in this population? When we looked at over 1,100 cycles, we did not find an association between BMI and the actual result of pregnancy per cycle. Wow, so that's kind of counter to the other research looking at the ART or the IVF, I'm sorry. That's exactly right. In fact, uh, Dr. Jim Wang out of Australia had previously studied, had previously looked at research with IVF and found lower pregnancy rates with BMI. And when they looked at their IUI database, they also did not find an association with, fertil with pregnancy rates following IUI. Wow, so you looked at more than 400 women and more than 1,000 cycles and there was no significant relationship whatsoever. No, even in the morbidly obese with a BMI of greater than 40. Wow. So were you surprised that you found this? I was. I expected to find a lower rate, and I just wanted to know the information in order to better counsel my patients. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with the information now. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. <laughs> like, when someone has a morbidly obese patient in their office, how do you... How do you counsel them based on this finding? Well, there's no question we do behavioral counseling and diet and exercise. Um, I also require them to lose 5% of their body weight before they begin treatment, but then I encourage them to lose more weight and discuss the complications during pregnancy as well as the outcomes on the resulting baby, the higher their BMI. So they need to know all that information, but they also need to know realistically what is their chance to conceive based on their BMI, and then they make an informed consent of whether they want to proceed. So what is your take-home message for OBGYNs based on this finding? Well, I think the take-home message is that we shouldn't have absolute cutoffs of BMIs in order to treat patients, that we're supposed to give them the information and counsel them, and then they make an informed decision as to whether they want to proceed. This has been Damian McNamara reporting from Orlando.